Good morning, viewer. Vendashya, here's a breaking news. Yeah, quantum computers have the potential to simulate complex materials, allowing researchers to gain deeper insights into the physical properties that emerge from interactions among atoms and electrons. This may one day lead to the discovery or design of better semiconductors, insulators, or superconductors that could be used to make ever faster, more powerful, and more energy efficient electronics. But some phenomena that occurs in materials can be challenging to mimic using quantum computers, leaving gaps in the problems that scientists have explored with quantum hardware. To fill one of these gaps, MIT researchers developed a technique to generate synthetic electromagnetic fields on superconducting quantum processors. The team demonstrated the technique on a processor comprising 16 qubits. By dynamically controlling how the 16 qubits in their processors are coupled to one another, the researchers were able to emulate how electrons move between atoms in the presence of an electromagnetic field. Moreover, the synthetic electromagnetic field is broadly adjustable, enabling scientists to explore a range of material properties. Evaluating electromagnetic fields is crucial to fully explore the properties of materials. In the future, this technique could set light on key features of electronic systems such as conductivity, polarization, and magnetization. Quantum computers are powerful tools for studying the physics of materials and other quantum mechanical systems too. Our work enables us to simulate much more of the rich physics that has captivated material scientists, says Ilan Rosen, an MIT postdoc and lead author of a paper on the quantum simulator. The senior author is William D. Oliver, the handy Alice Warren Professor of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science and of Physics, Director of the Center for Quantum Engineering, Leader of the Engineering Quantum Systems Group, and Associate Director of the Research Laboratory of Electronics. Oliver and Rosen are joined by others in the departments of electrical engineering and computer science and of physics and MIT Lynn Colin Laboratory. The research was recently published in Nature Physics. We end this exclusive report.